As you may know, Spotify has changed the face of music and the music industry in general. Today we'll be discussing this article that I found, because it seems that there are people making lots of money in an illegal way. Let's find out how it's been done. Welcome back, girls and boys. This is a sort of follow-up video to the video from last week, in which I was talking about how Spotify is changing the way music has been written as a way to maximize uh, revenue. In this series, uh, we discuss everything that is being going on right now on the music business and how to make a profit out of it as a musician. So if you find this kind of content interesting, please leave a like. Now let's get into the article. Okay, this is an old article from 2018. I know it's been more than a year since this article was written, but it's interesting and it's worthwhile to take a look at it because in a nutshell, it is, it is talking about how somebody in the middle of Bulgaria uh, came up with this quite clever and I gotta tell you incredibly, in, incredibly intelligent scheme on which they created a bunch of, of fake Spotify premium account and we're talking about the paid, the paid, uh, the paid tier of the service and then they uploaded a bunch of 30 seconds songs why 30 seconds? Uh, because uh, from if, if you if you have seen the previous video, which I strongly recommend you to do, so that way you will be understanding way better what everything that has to do with this article works. Uh, in a nutshell, once again, uh, 30 seconds. It's the it's the mark that the Spotify use uh, to monetize the content on the platform. So let's get into the article now. A Bulgarian playlist maker. And of course, this comes from uh, musicbusinessworldwide.com. So, once again, a Bulgarian, a, Bulgar a Bulgarian playlist maker scammed the Spotify payout system for months later year, last year and could well have made themselves a millionaire of Daniel's EK's platform. Daniel's X platform. So, let's get into it now. On September 23rd, Soulful Music and Music from the Heart Rich. Hit zero, fake positions. Music from the Heart said that number 84 on a Spotify global list and number 22nd on its US only rankings. Soulful Music, meanwhile, was smashing it. It climbed to number 35 on a Spotify's confidential global chart up to 10, 10, 29 places and unbelievably at number 11 in the US. We're talking about playlist. Both of those positions for Soulful Music, Global and US were higher than any major label owned playlist. Just think about it. A little playlist made by somebody in the middle of nowhere, comprised of little to no recognized artists at all, was breaking into the almost top 10. Let's continue. Here is where, it start, where, where things start to get into Dutch City. At the time, Soulful Music contained four, 467 tracks, all recorded by seemingly unknown artists, with very little in the way of online biographies and presence. You will note, this is exceedingly large number of tracks for a playlist knocking on the door of a Spotify's top, 20, top 10 revenue-making playlist in America. But even a stranger, bewilderedly, few people follow the playlist. According to the data obtained using the playlist monitoring platform, Chartmetric, Music Business Weekly, uh, Music Business Worldwide, sorry, has discovered that during the third week of September 2017, just 1,797 people followed Soulful Music. What's more, we've we're told the vast majority of those 467 tracks were barely over 30 seconds long. This is where it's getting sketchy. Because that's the minimum unit of time needed to trigger a monetized play on Spotify. So as you can see, guys and girls, this whole thing is, uh, as I told you at the beginning of the video, somebody uploaded a bunch of ridiculously short tracks, just long enough to make a profit, Organized a playlist. Of course, that guy owned the rights of all of those songs. So that guy create, creates a playlist and it's monetizing every single play coming out of that playlist. playlist. But here's the funny thing. 
The story becomes even more intriguing when you dig into how many people were actually playing these tracks. Our source tells us, tell us that this data within Spotify analytics was pretty consistent. Around 1,200 monthly listeners, with some variation, were hearing play on each soulful music song. So let's bring all of this information together. According to the article, it was a Bulgarian individual or collective man who, that managed to run at least one third, one third party playlist called Soulful Music, which generated so much revenue in, in September 2017, it landed at number 35 on a Spotify Global 100 chart. And the same happened uh, with the US Top 10. Then, Soulful Music had less than 1,800 followers at the time. We're talking about the same playlist. What's more, each of its 406 and 67 tracks were only attracting more than 1,200 monthly listeners apiece. So, with that being said, everything is starting to come for a circle. It seems that this guy or this association of this bunch of guys created this ridiculous amount of music or play and they, then put it inside of the same playlist then get, they got a bunch of bots running several Spotify accounts we're talking about 1200 Spotify premium accounts that means that they've been paying for it to play the same playlist and in a random order just to keep it more uh, organic I think uh, for days and days and days and days and days and they were collecting the revenue out of, out of it remember, after 30 seconds you're making a profit in Spotify of course you're talking about a fraction of a dollar let's continue with the article let's say that our friend, the Bulgarian had laid out the money to purchase 1,200 premium accounts uh, it would be expensive but a nice calculation shows why 1,200 1, uh, times 9.99 dollars per month would mean an, over, an, an overall of $12,000 12, per month now our sources the people from, from music business worldwide tell us that the average track duration of the 467 songs in soulful music was around 43 seconds uh, at the top three of the playlists were the, the, the most visible ones actually contained a longer, uh, the longest tracks presumably so that at a glance it appeared like the, the list could be legit they were trying to have some form of uh, legitimacy I guess then there are 80,400 80, seconds in a day the potential amount of listens, of total listens that a single individual premium Spotify account could rack up within the playlist across a 30-day month if they were playing songs continually at 24 hours a day, 7 days a week just over 60,000 so that means that 60,000 monetized tracks listens across 1,200 premium accounts in the same month period a to gave us a total of seven, 72 million plays just let that sink in. That's a lot of a place out of the out of a single playlist. Then using just a conservative estimate, uh, which uh, let's say that Spotify pays back something around zero point four zero point zero zero four cents per play. This guy uh, was making something in the likes of two hundred and eighty eight thousand dollars per month what the it's going on with this so now if you keep ranking up the numbers let's let's continue with the article what's more if bots were being used to skip tracks on spotify before they finished at the all important 30 second monetization points monetization points you would be able to squeeze in 100 and 103 million plays across 1,200 accounts in 30 days the potential payout once again using the same number 0 0.004 per play you get a whopping 
per month. That's insane. Okay, girls and boys. So, what's the moral of this uh, story? I think this is a testament of how the whole Spotify and the streaming service ecosystem is not functional at all. Because, as you can see, somebody who might be clever enough to figure out a way to scam and to, to, to doctor the system in a way that favors him in such a way that he doesn't have to do anything to make a, well, a ridiculous amount of money, almost, uh, almost half a million dollars per month without doing anything. And the worst part is that in basic terms, this whole operation was kind of legit because they were paying, they were paying for the service. They weren't doing anything wrong, actually, because they were just, if you look at it from a, from a corporate perspective, uh, they were paying their, the, the, for the service. The service was provided according to what the contract says, and nobody was uh, stealing anybody from anybody. But the problem is that they were exploiting the system. And just in mind what would happen, what, what, what this, what the repercussion, what repercussion of this would be. Because let's say that they're, uh, uh, that they're legitimate artists, that they decide to, to, for some artistic reason, they decide to release their music in a 40 second format. And let's say that Spotify, in order to combat this kind of scam activity, scamming activities, decides to uh, not monetize tracks no longer than one minute. That would be a shame. That would be a shame, and that would be a, 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 a ridiculous, a, a ridiculous solution for a non-existent problem. The problem is, it's not that some people like this exist. The problem is that the way that the, that the company and how the streaming service music business works is completely flawed there are several issues with this system i think that it's a way of the future i th I the future i think it's the best solution that we got so far i'm not saying that it's perfect but there has to be a better way to organize and to monetize this business as usual i would like to hear what you think about it i know this is a controversial topic because i am for one to support the guy because actually what he did was quite clever he actually came up with an incredible scheme and it worked and actually the only reason why he would he got cocked well it, it was because he reached he reached uh, the the higher the higher level of uh, of the play of the charts if if i think he got cocky <laughs> and if if he keep it a little bit more under the radar I can assure you that up until this day he could be running it. He could be still be running the, exactly the same the same scheme. Well, that's all for today, guys and girls. As usual, if you like this kind of content, leave a like, subscribe to our YouTube channel. That helps us a lot. And if you want to com to combat the tyranny of Spotify and all of those uh, horrible streaming services, be part of the journey and join the channel. Listen to our music, I know, <laughs> on Spotify and Apple Music, and if you are not, uh, if you don't want to support this kind of services, you can buy it straight from our official web page. And, um, as usual, I will see you when I see you. Keep rock and roll alive.